kind of overview honestly very pleased i thought it was clean football uh, did some really good things offensively from the start i mean putting them backed up on the minus two yard line and they go 98 yards um shoot i think the first drive was like 13 plays and overcame a penalty in the red zone so um thought thought that group played really well uh, kind of like i've been saying distributing the football we got multiple receivers uh, making plays out there and that part was really really good um you know and then you know back and forth defensively got a bunch of stops as the scrimmage continued on and i thought they played with great effort uh, overall tackling was um was solid i still think we can be a little bit better we got a few missed tackles out there but that part that part was good i thought we got a bunch of good work special teams wise important for these guys to get some live reps running down on kickoff tackling people uh, you know our kicking situation every going out there these are important reps for them to go out there and, and try different kicks different setups uh, and so i was pleased with the work we got done there another opportunity for you know younger guys on teams to earn their way on the bus and uh, got some guys to show up that way it'll be interesting to really take a deep dive analyzing this tape but like i said overall really pleased thought uh it was one of our better uh, better scrimmages since i've been here jonathan did uh, tristan take a big step toward winning the job today uh, you know without watching the tape i did feel like he was pretty efficient he didn't miss much out there moved the ball really well i think he played as well as he has all camp it, 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 it looked like the, the, the offensive line is starting to come together with the maybe seven guys up there. Did, did you feel like they took a step forward today? Yeah, I was pleased with, the, with that group. There was a few sacks, and it, honestly, a couple of them were on the quarterback. I uh, thought we blocked it well. I mean, Munchie ran like we know Munchie can do it. Uh, Jamar's a, a big-time back, he had some good carries. BJ had some good carries. Connor Morton had a couple that leaked out, and all that starts up front. And so um, that group, along with the tight end, I mean, Tegan and Luke and Luke's take a huge step in the run game. So we're we're making real progress there. Jonathan, just from your first impressions, what's maybe an area that you still want to get cleaned up here, you know, in the next week or so as you kind of get ready for the uh, opener? Yeah, I think one thing that stood out to me a little bit defensively, we got to make sure our eyes are in the right spots. Uh, I think we got caught with eyes in the backfield. And now we're cutting the receiver loose. Um you know, we ran kind of a fake screen double move and Jake Overman's running wide open down the sideline for a score. So we got to we got to clean that up. Um, and, uh, you know, it's interesting, too. We've had the the noise going. You guys heard it. Um, we got to work on really our energy on the sideline. Now that kind of experience in that with we're not going to have a huge crowd in there. Uh, we actually got to work on a little bit, creating some energy on the sideline, which you really can't do in a scrimmage. I get it where we're splitting the sides, but. That's one thing I told the team after after practice. Jonathan, after after last week, you know, the coaches, including yourself, were kind of saying it was, you know, a bit of a sloppy scrimmage needed to be tightened up. And then you say today it's one of the best. Just is that a credit to how much effort these guys put in this week? Yeah, no question. You know, the details in the first scrimmage, especially offensively, were not there. Um, and in a week worth of work by these players that uh, it looked a lot, a whole lot cleaner. So these guys have, they've been working. I like this group a lot. Uh, they're competitive. Um, they force each other to, to improve because we talk about it. Like if you don't bring your A game into practice, you're going to get exposed on either side of the ball. And, and that's continued this week. And I think it continued today. Is there anything in particular that Tristan did today that I mean, was a lot better than last weekend? Accuracy. I mean, he didn't hit open receivers. Uh, his decision making has been really good throughout but uh when got to open a guy we need to to hit him and he did that throughout the day Jonathan you're you're two weeks away from the season opener do you do you feel like you're that close to playing a game does, does this team feel like they're in that sort of stride right now yeah I think yeah we're, we're two weeks away and and I feel feel good where we're at I know we got to continue to progress and obviously then we'll start focusing in on an opponent um but like I said after watching that uh, I think we're we're getting close, and I'm feeling confident that we're going to be able to go and, and play quality football. Soraya with a, a couple of big catches today. Does it feel like he's playing like somebody a little older, a little older than a freshman? Yeah, and we've been kind of been saying it, but uh, he has. Um, you know, the first one on the goal line fade, he goes up and gets it. Uh, that was a big time play, and then we got the action pass, kind of snuck him in the back of the end zone. Um, so he's been playing well, and it's kind of like I said, we got a group of receivers we feel confident about. Um, 
probably not to the point where we got one guy we're going to highlight like we did last year, which every year is new. And I think we can get a ton of production out of that group. Um, and it might be four or five different guys. You talked about the young guys trying to earn their way on the bus. Were there a couple who stood out today? You know, I, yeah, without totally watching the tape, oftentimes it, it's easier to, to point a guy out or two. I do think, like I said before, Overman uh, did some good things. You know, John Miller continues to show up. Um, but we, I got to watch the tape. You kind of mentioned it a little bit with the tape, Jonathan, but kind of what's the next steps and process now? Does the coaches kind of start to formulate a bit of a depth chart? Do things kind of start to tighten up? What's the next couple of days look like for you guys? Yeah, this will be a big evaluation off of this tape, and we're definitely getting close to playing a game. Uh, this team knows that there's another practice or two uh, coming this next week that will be a part of the evaluation. But but by the uh, by the end of the week, we're, we, we need to start creating. Uh, this is ones, twos, and threes, and this is how we're going to prep. And, and play so this team knows it um this is a huge step uh and then like i say we get a, another practice or two next week do you, do you think it's possible you'll be able to name a starting quarterback early next week um yeah i think it's possible um uh, again we'll uh, we'll watch this tape and see how these next few days go um but what i like to do is along with the quarterback we're going to probably mention or give you a give you a depth chart Coach, earlier in the season, you said that you needed your players to buy into the culture in order to make this season happen with the testing and everything. What has your reaction been to how they've really approached and taken everything seriously so far? Yeah, I've been really just happy um, and appreciate their effort. Yeah, And not just players, everybody's effort in regards to these protocols and making decisions and, and taking precautions. Um, because it's, uh, it's obviously something we're having to deal with, and these guys have, have dealt with it great. Um, and every day is new. We don't got this thing solved yet in regards to COVID-19, but I know uh, these guys have been making great choices. Tristan, um, were you just a lot more comfortable today than you were a week ago? It looked well, good like you were. I think that's what practice does, you know. Uh, the more you practice, the the better you get timing with receivers and trust in O-line and, you know, uh, the better run game we got. I mean, we just – we had a lot of time off, you know, and – I think uh, in a matter of one week, I think it was a great turnaround for us and uh, really a testament to our coaches and to our mindset that, hey, we got to pick this up and, you know, what do we want to be known for here at, at Oregon State? And this, it's, so it was a, a pride thing for us this weekend, this week. And I think that we stepped up to the plate and did a great job. I mean, we're practicing against a great defense too. So, um, you know, sometimes they win, sometimes we win. It's like one-on-one -on -one matchups all the time. And that's, that's when you have a great team, so. Tristan, what were some of your biggest takeaways from today, both uh, positively and negatively? Uh, I thought I thought we run the ran the ball really well today. I mean, when you can run the ball, I mean, it makes makes life a lot easier on in a lot of a lot of aspects of the game. Um, and I just I, I think the O line really stepped up and and did an amazing job this week. And I think that um, you know Coach M's going to keep challenging them to get better and better. But I mean, you can see the improvement, and I think all around we improved a lot. Um, you know, negatively, I think that, you know, we left maybe a couple plays out there and, you know, there's always stuff to improve on, uh, always, um, you know, so cleaning up a couple of things here and there can make all the difference between winning and losing a game, you know, so. Zariah Beeson caught a couple of touchdowns today. Is he somebody you're starting to notice a lot more out there? Yeah, for sure. Zariah has gotten a good feel for the offense and, uh, you know, we got a, we got a stable of receivers that are really, really talented at what they do. Um, really polished and coach Fence has been really getting them right and uh, it's gonna be really fun for for me chance Ben Nick you know Jackson whoever's out there to be thrown to these guys because uh, they definitely make our jobs a lot easier does Zariah seem a little more I guess polished than the typical freshman uh, I think so I think Zariah does an awesome job I think actually I think we got three freshman receivers right now and they're all doing great stuff uh, they're all progressing in the right direction, and I think that's um, I think that's a testament to some of the older guys are in the room. You know, like Tra Trayvon Bradford and uh, Champ, and you know Tajon bringing those guys along and showing them how it's done. And um, so I think that the future is bright here for sure for them. Tristan, do you think you took a big step today toward winning the job? Uh, you know, I think that today I just went out there and did the best that I could, and you know, it's not it's not my place to say whether I'm going to win the job or not. Um, I'm glad I don't have to make that decision because we got a lot of talented quarterbacks. Um, I'm just blessed to be in the position that, I, that I'm in and around such great coaches and, and teammates and 
you know, I, I think that the best thing about it is right now I'm having fun playing football, and that's that's all you could ask for as a player. Tristan, we, we talked this week, and the coaches kind of said the last scrimmage wasn't super sharp. The execution needed to be cleaned up a little bit. In your eye, was that a lot sharper today? Yeah, I think so. Um, I think with the offense, you know, um, there's a lot of things that go into it, throwing and catching the ball and, um, you know, having the correct run reads from running backs. And, and like I said before, the more time you spend doing it, the better you get at it. I mean, that's just what practice is for. So um, I think that over the course of the last week, you know, we had installs coming in and still uh, understanding them really well and um, executing during practice. And then, you know, you go out there in a live scrimmage and uh, you put the pieces together and, and that's what it looks like, you know. And so hopefully we can just keep keep on building and keep on growing because the, the job's never done until, um, you know, the season's over. So Hey, Jamar, look, it looked like the, the uh, behind the the – the line you were the lines you were going up against looked like there was a lot of places to run. Did is that what it looked like to you too? Or yeah, they did a good job today. You know, um, last week we just got better from last week and um, did a lot better this week. So it was good to see them pro- progress and run the whole offense progress. You look you look fresh out there. Yeah, I feel fresh. I feel fresh. A lot fresher than last year. <laughs> Mark, can you talk about what you saw from Tristan out there? How did he look uh, running the offense today? Uh, he looked uh, he looked well, you know. He looked he looked a lot comfortable back there, uh, you know, throwing throws in the pocket, which uh, we all like to see. So I think he did a good job today. Do you, what, what for the offense as a whole, Jamar? How would you say that the the offense, you know, rolled through today and just uh, last week, you know, the coaches kind of said that it wasn't quite as sharp. How sharp was it today? Uh, from a grade A to F, I say we uh, – I give us a B plus, A minus. I feel like we could have done better, but um, we did a lot better from coming from what we did last week. So, yeah. Just upon your uh, first reflections, what are some of the, you know, biggest takeaways that you have just immediately afterwards, both uh, positive and negative? Can you repeat that? Uh, What are some of your biggest takeaways from today? Oh, you know, um, let's see, uh, probably my run reads, uh, pass protection. Really, that's just his run reads and pass protection. You know, I've got to watch film on that a lot more. Avery, what positives do you think the the defense had today? Um, there was plays made um, at times, but I think offense pretty much won today. Did, did the offense look a lot better today than they did last scrimmage? Yeah, uh, they look. They were pretty solid today. They were good. Avery, in terms of what made the offense look better today, what specifically were they able to do? Was it, you know, being sharper out there? Was it better execution? And then what can you guys do uh, in the next week to kind of rematch that? I mean, they executed and we just have to execute. That's what it comes down to.